Social influence. Social influence is also a very potent source of power, and perhaps the source of power most people think about when thinking about power. The ability to influence, lead, and direct others to carry out one's will is quintessentially powerful. It is the source of power of emperors, kings, generals and admirals, high priests, business executives, and other leaders. It is the source of power of leadership. But the power of social influence isn't restricted to only leadership. Although it is more common for leaders to exercise the power of social influence over their followers, followers too can exercise the power of social influence over their leaders. An advisor of a monarch, for example, can influence the monarch's decision even though the advisor is subordinate to the monarch. The advisor may even choose to influence the monarch's decision in a way that carries out the will of the advisor, which is an expression of power. Still, authority rests on the leader, so the follower to leader exercise of social influence is a weaker form of power than the leader to follower exercise of social influence. Neither is social influence restricted to hierarchical relationships. Those in equal positions may also influence each other. And help each other achieve what they want. Friends, for example, influence and aid each other very often. Many of the great achievements of humanity have been achieved through strong friendships, from warrior brotherhoods to cooperation between thinkers and scientists, from business partnerships to political alliances. So much of the world was built upon the foundation of strong friendships. Which leads to the next point about the power of social influence. Not only is the power of social influence exercised on others to carry out one's will, but the power of social influence can be received from others to empower oneself. Receiving love, loyalty, friendship, wisdom, knowledge, support, motivation, inspiration, and so many other things from other people increases one's own power. Humans are naturally social. Receiving positive influence from and having positive interactions with others enlivens the human spirit and pushes it to achieve great things. Here are examples of ways to gain social influence and the corresponding ways to lose them. Gaining the respect and trust of others increases social influence. Losing the respect and trust of others decreases social influence. Being better liked, favored, and loved by others increases social influence. Being less liked, favored, and loved by others decreases social influence. Attracting others increases social influence. Failure to attract others decreases social influence. Having others' attention and being more thought about by others increases social influence. Having less of others' attention and being less thought about by others decreases social influence. Gaining others' loyalty increases social influence. Losing others' loyalty. Decreases social influence. Arousing the emotions and spirits of others increases social influence. Not arousing the emotions and spirits of others decreases social influence. Being persuasive and convincing increases social influence. Not being persuasive and convincing decreases social influence. Engaging the senses of others increases social influence. Failure to engage the senses of others. Decreases social influence. Providing value for others increases social influence. Not providing value for others decreases social influence. Having what others want can increase social influence. Not having what others want can decrease social influence. There are many ways to increase social influence and many ways to lose it. Here are examples of ways receiving social influence from others can increase one's power. And the corresponding ways it can decrease one's power. Surrounding oneself with positive people increases one's power. Surrounding oneself with negative people decreases one's power. Surrounding oneself with the people one seeks to learn from and be like increases one's power. Surrounding oneself with the people one does not seek to learn from and be like decreases one's power. Those who surround themselves with people who love and support them 
increased our own power. Those who surround themselves with people who don't love and support them decreased our own power. Those who surround themselves with people who share a common goal increased our own power. Those who surround themselves with people who don't share a common goal decrease their own power. Those who surround themselves with people who respect and trust them increase their own power. Those who surround themselves with people who don't respect and trust them decrease their own power. Those who surround themselves with people who are loyal to them increase their own power. Those who surround themselves with people who are not loyal to them decrease their own power. There are many ways receiving social influence from others can increase one's power, and many ways it can decrease it as well. The power of social influence can be in the form of authority, or it can be in the form of relationships. Positions of authority will grant the holders of such positions social influence over those under such authority. For example, a general will be in a position of authority over subordinate officers and soldiers. A business executive would be in a position of authority over subordinate employees. A school headmaster would be in a position of authority over subordinate teachers and staff. Those under such positions of authority are obeying because of the position and not necessarily because of the holder of the position. Social influence in the form of relationships do not require positions of authority to be exercised. In this case, people are being influenced directly because of the person, and not because of any position of authority the person may have. For example, a friend may do a favor purely out of friendship, and not because one holds any position of authority over that friend. People may follow someone they trust, admire, and respect, and accept that person's leadership, not because of any formal position of authority, but because of the trust, admiration, and respect they have for that person. People may also do favors for those they simply like, and no position of authority is needed to get them to perform such favors. In these cases, social influence is exercised because of the relationship and not because of any position of authority. Social influence in the form of authority and social influence in the form of relationships are not mutually exclusive. Positions of authority can help form social relationships. Social relationships can help acquire positions of authority. It is not a good idea for those in positions of authority to not form positive social relationships with those under such authority. It is also more difficult to acquire positions of authority without good social relationships to help acquire those positions of authority. Much of social activity happens on the group level, beyond the individual level. Individuals are members of families, clans, tribes, and nations. These groups have especially deep bonds, as they are part of who an individual is. There is only so much an individual can do without the help of others. Many tasks require group effort. The more powerful the group is, the more powerful the individuals in that group are. An individual from a powerful family will have more power himself. An individual from a powerful clan will have more power himself. An individual from a powerful tribe will have more power himself. An individual from a powerful nation will have more power himself. Social influence within these groups is already there by being part of the group. So the more powerful the in-group is, the greater the power from social influence the individual has. Increasing the power of the in-group would further increase this power of social influence, which is a major reason why people naturally devote themselves to bettering their families, their clans, their tribes, and their nations. When the in-group gains power, the individuals within it gain power. When the in-group loses power, the individuals within it lose power. Of course, this group power element of social influence only works if there is cohesiveness and solidarity within the group, and the group's members are loyal to one another and to the group as a whole. Without cohesiveness, the group can't work together to achieve goals. Without solidarity, the group won't appreciate their common bond and stand united. Without loyalty, the group's members won't work for the benefit of each other and for the group as a whole.
There are many examples of broken and separated families, dispersed clans, scattered tribes, and divided and atomized nations. Members of such disunited groups won't be able to benefit from the group power element of social influence. Worse, other groups that have cohesiveness and solidarity and can rely on the loyalty of their members can take advantage of these disunited groups and take power over them. There is power in unity. A united group that works together can beat a divided group that does not. Throughout history, many smaller but more united nations were able to conquer larger but more divided ones. Group disunity is also a liability, as it produces more traitors that can help the enemy. Groups with loyal members would work for the benefit of the group, not against it. Thus, to increase the group power element of social influence, increase the cohesiveness, solidarity, and loyalty of the group. Individuals may also form groups themselves, often to achieve a common purpose. Militaries are formed to achieve military goals and to defend the nation. Businesses are formed to make money from business ideas. Professional associations are formed to share knowledge and wisdom and to network with fellow professionals. Political parties are formed to gain power in government. Scientific societies are formed to share knowledge and discoveries, to cooperate on scientific research, and to network with fellow scientists. Music bands are formed to create or play music. There can be power in being members of these groups. As a member, an individual would have social influence within that group. So the more powerful the group is, the more powerful the individual is as well. However, since these groups are formed for specific purposes, that power is confined to those purposes. This is unlike groups such as family, clan, tribe, and nation, which are part of an individual's identity and have special bonds that go beyond specific purposes.